Hi everyone, Lisa here from LC Designs. Welcome to Workshop Wednesday, December 6, 2023. I hope all you guys are doing well. The weather here is finally sunny, but it's still cold. Hopefully you guys aren't um, in any kind of weather disaster. I know there's a lot of um, snow going around. But um, anyway, welcome to Workshop Wednesday. I just have a few announcements. Um, uh, it's a new month, so this is the first video that I've done in December. So it's a new month, so we have a new Sweet Stampin' Friends tutorial. And this month, all of our projects are using um, online exclusives. So they're products that aren't in the catalog. You just have to go onto my website and go under online exclusives, and then you'll find the projects that we um the products that we use for our projects. And to get your tutorial, it, this month it's 19 pages, and I just printed the cover. I didn't have time to print the um, whole tutorial, but it's a 19 page tutorial. And I'll give you a sneak peek. Oops, mine's stuck. Here's a sneak peek of mine. I'm using the sparkling, oh, what is it called? Simply sparkling. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of people using this, but here's a sneak peek of mine. And to get your tutorial, when you spend $35 in my online store, I will, auto when you use the shopping link uh, that I'll post later, um, it'll automatically tell me that you spent $35 and then I will email that to you. And another exciting thing is I've received my catalogs, well, personally, my catalogs, so this is the June through April, uh, June, January through April um, mini catalog. There's so many excited things and there's celebration. So you can earn celebration items when you spend $50 to $100, depending on what, what your items are. Um, I haven't received my catalogs to send to you, but I will post a link um, after the video is done showing that... Um, where you can request these catalogs and then I'll send them to you once I get them. So I think that's it. Um, it's getting to be Christmas. So here's our little box and it's an actual box. And then I put the tags on top of it from Marius Trees. So we're gonna use Marius Trees um, bundle. So the stamp set and the dies. I already pulled the ones out that I need. And we are gonna use sending cheer, but we're only using to and from on sending cheer. If you don't have this stamp set, you can write on the back. So see the back? We just made a little tag for you to put on. So we're only using that one from sending cheer. And we are gonna be using my favorite Christmas paper, the Mary and Mary Bold and Bright Designer Series paper. I love the colors in this paper, but I wanted to add something to the back. So let me see where we are. We are gonna need a piece of Poppy Parade, and we are gonna get the trimmer. <clears throat> and we're going to cut this piece of paper, piece of cardstock, I should say, at four and three quarters. So let's go four and three quarters by seven. And that's it on the trimming. So let me grab my Simply Score. And I like to use a Simply Score because I feel like my score lines are a lot crisper and straight. Because sometimes on the trimmer it moves. So this is the long side, the seven inch side. We're gonna score it at one, three, four, and six. And then now we're gonna turn it and we're gonna score at one 
and three and three quarters. And that's it on the scoring. <clears throat> so let me get my bone folder. We'll burnish all these lines. We want the nice crisp lines so we have a nice formed box. And this one is kind of like any other box, except I don't have the flap going in, which I probably could have, but I just didn't think about it at the time. So let me know where you guys are at and how are you guys doing on your Christmas shopping? Are you done? Almost done? Nowhere near done? Or just beginning? I'm kind of like... Um, Nowhere near done. So I'm gonna cut these two squares off. These little inner flaps, I'm just gonna angle them. You don't really have to. I just always like to do it because in case my score lines are off, but they should be good since I use the Simply Score. All right, and are any of you new? Is this the first time you're watching me? If it's the first time you're watching me, my name is Lisa Cunningham. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. And I have been doing Stampin' Up! for eight years. Okay, so there's going to be our box. So we're going to use some tear and tape. Um, this is kind of a new one. A new roll of tear and tape. If you guys were watching my 12 days of Christmas projects, I was using like tear and tape every day. Okay. Hi, Janet. You're nearly done shopping? Wow, good for you. Good, good, good. And I know you're crafting too. I've been doing, I'm trying to get all my classes already for next year because of the new catalog coming out. So then we're just gonna fold this over. It'll line up like so. Or, ah, I didn't, just, that's the easier way to do it. So then on our bottom, whichever one you want to make the bottom, it's going to be the same, um, same size, same size on both ends. So let's add some tear and tape. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of crafting. I had a pajama party. I'm going to cut this. Well, uh, crafting pajama party on Saturday. So we made some Christmas tags. Let's take this off and take this off. So um, I was busy creating those projects along with all of my stuff out of the new catalog that I can't quite show you. So... Here's, um, I got a couple of Christmas ones, um, either one you can put in. And this, we're just going to put a, um, actually it's going to go this way because we're the same as we want it to go on the back. So we're just going to put a glue dot to close that. So that way it's just going to hold it down, but it's not going to like rip the whole package when they go to open it. Um, the reason I didn't add ribbon around it is because we're going to use some ribbon on our tags that we're making. So let's go ahead and well, we can do, I guess, a few die cuts. We need our little Christmas tree. And I guess I have a big old giant piece of paper. So I'll move that back this way. That way we can fit some other die cuts. And I got another big piece of paper because we're going to get this. So we need this tag twice. And the, these are both from the Marius trees. So let's cut these two first because the other ones we need are different colors. I 
guess I just happened to grab big pieces of scratch paper. And you can use a lot of or scrap paper for these. Now we're gonna do, let's, let's move this all the way this way so we have more room. And then we need a little tiny star and we're gonna use crushed curry. I know I have my piece in here. And you know how funny, last week I was looking for my piece that was, um, my piece that was, had adhesive on it and I couldn't find it. It was stuck to the side of my little box. So this is crushed curry. This is crumb cake. And we're gonna do the bottom of the tree and the star. Yeah, after the video, I was putting everything away and I found it. It stuck to the side of my um, my box, my little tray that I keep all my stuff in for my projects. I was like, I was looking all over for that and now it's gonna pop up now that I'm done. Okay, so let's get all these pieces and move this out of the way for now. So we're actually going to do some heat embossing. Let me get that out of the way. Let's get our little star. And we have our two tags and our tree. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue these on. So these are just going to fit right on. What I do is I um, line it up at the bottom and then kind of evenly um, space it out evenly on each side. So this is quick and easy. If you don't even want to um, add these tags and all that, your box is already a sanitizer holder. And you can just decorate the box. You can wrap some... Um, it wasn't good... Actually, I shouldn't have put it on there. I should have put it on here. All you have to do is wrap your box up with some designer series paper. You could add the tree on top of that or whatever you would like. You don't, like I said, you don't have to, as you can see on this one, I accidentally put my glue, but that's okay. So we're gonna do some heat embossing and I'm gonna show you a little trick that I do when I heat emboss, or especially when I'm going to use colors and, um, uh, you know, colors in the clear embossing powder, or today we're going to use the white stampin' pad and Versamark. So what I like to do is Stamp and Versamark first. I'm going to get my tray over here and stuff. Let's use the embossing buddy to get, make sure no extra embossing powder gets on there. So what I do is I always stamp and Versamark first. So normally you can just stamp on your color and then on. But I like to stamp in Versamark because then it makes it nice and juicy. So it'll really pick up that white. And we're using white on top of white embossing powder. And so just stamp that on like so. It doesn't look very good because it's white. That's why I'm using the white embossing powder. So now let's get our tray. And this is all a set. You can get this set. It comes with the, I think these tweezers that you guys know I use quite a bit. Comes with the tray, a brush, and the embossing buddy. Let me close this because this is, all I need is to have embossing powder all over. And then our heat tool. Let's. Sorry about the noise. Hi, Joan. Glad you're able to join me today. Today I'm making a hand sanitizer box, which can be used as a little 
gift for a co-worker or somebody at the doctor's office, somebody at church, anybody you want to give a little gift to, but you don't want to spend a lot of money. I think this is fully embossed. like to um, I like to use that Versamark because I think it just makes it extra juicy like I said especially when you're using the clear um I'm gonna move this out of the way the clear embossing powder with a color so now we're going to glue the bottom of our tree onto the tree like so now I'm gonna stamp the star in crushed curry. We already die cut it. And we'll just stamp it. You don't have to stamp it if you don't want. You know, these are always for me to give you guys ideas and then you take it and run with it and create it the way that you want. I'm just giving you the basic tools. Okay, so now I think we'll go ahead and do our ribbon first. So for the ribbon, I'm gonna use this white and silver trim, or ribbon, I should say. And just cut it like so, we could trim it after. And this isn't cutting because I'm not using my ribbon scissors. What is wrong with me? So you know me, I like to use these as my other set of hands. I'm gonna turn it this way so I can see. And we're gonna use the silver trim out of the gold and silver trim pack. And put this under, make sure I don't get those tweezers in there. I love these. I think I would buy another set just to just to have. And I'm going to tie it in a knot because this trim kind of comes undone because it's so so what do I want to say? Slippery? Okay and so now we're just going to tie in a bow. Like I said, it's slippery, so you gotta work with it till you get the bow you want. I'm pulling it tight to try and hold it. I love the silver and gold, but when you're trying to tie it there, I think that's tight enough. Now let me grab my ribbon scissors. I'll cut that. These probably don't need to be so long. And then, those actually are pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to use some dimensionals and put our tree on. One, two, and you know what? Look, I have a little tiny, I think the other night, one of the gals was trimming these little pieces. So I'll use that little piece instead of a dimensional. She was using all of the and so there is that so now this is the front of your box this is going to be the front so these are the adhesive back dots the iridescence or discs they call them so i'm just going to put one of each color around the tree so oops do i have the wrong side i think i do it flipped on, oops, <laughs> it flipped on me. So I can't get these up. And anywhere you wanna put them, I'm just putting them around the tree to give the tree. Instead of putting the lights on the tree, since we put our sentiment, and there's our little decorations. 
Okay, so there's the front. So now we're gonna do the back. So on the back, I need my paper trimmer and we're gonna use this pattern from the DSP. And this is two by two and three quarters. So let's go two and three quarters. Get my cutting blade by two. And then since we got the trimmer out, I know I need a one inch by two and a quarter of the basic white for our two and four. So that's two and a quarter, and I believe this is already one. Yep. Okay. So now we'll just glue this piece. And look, if you want, you can put the fa la la la. What do you guys think? Which one do you like better? Fa la 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 or the colors? Let me know. Colors? Fa la la la. You know what? I think I will do the fa la la la. Because <laughs> the other one's with the dots and then you guys can let me know which one you like better. That's the one thing I like about our designer series paper. There's always two so two pretty sides to choose from. This glue is like moving. Okay, so now I'm gonna use crushed curry again. You like the fall la la, Janet? Well, that's what I used. I think that's very cute too. So we're just gonna stamp to and from in crushed curry. And I kind of thought on the first one, the reason I used the circles, because I felt like they matched the little discs. But I also like this one. Okay, so then we'll just glue this one on. And let that dry a minute. And I didn't, believe it or not, use Wink Stella, but I think I am gonna use it on this star because we want our star to be sparkly, right? And so that's it. Brush that yellow off, crushed curry. And that's our project. How simple was that? Super simple. Um. So here's my original, here's the one we just did, and then you can see the back. So which one do you like better? Super easy project, right? Like I said, if you um, didn't wanna add the tag element to it, you can just cut the DSP and put it on the front and the back of the box. You can even cut it, put it on the sides. You can wrap DSP around, but there's our project. Can you see the sparkly on the star? We'll move it up, because sometimes Wink Costello, this one doesn't have it, and this one has it. But that's it. Thank you, Joan, I appreciate it. Thank you, ladies, for joining me. I appreciate it. And next Wednesday, I will be flying to Washington, D.C. to see my son. So I will have a pre-recorded video for you. So please be sure and join me here at 12 o'clock Mountain Time. You guys all have a great week and then I will talk to you later and I will um, post the links to the different things that I talked about earlier. You guys take care. Bye-bye.